Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes and in this tutorial what I'll be doing is showing you how to create a GUI which is a graphical user interface a GUI using Python. Now there's quite a few libraries that you could use with Python but there is a library that is in Python it's called Tekinta so I'll be showing you how to use this library and how to make graphical user interfaces. Now you may wonder what is a graphical user interface? Well here we have our file explorer okay and here this is a graphical interface it shows us different directories and within their directories are files and so forth. So it's a, a visual way of looking for things on our computer. So that's a graphical user interface. Now, uh, just minimize that. And I'll open this one. Now this here is what you call a graphical user interface, but you use things such as the command line here. So that's so ls right ls I typed ls and it lists all the directories within the Raspberry Pi directory. Okay, so if I open that up and I minimize that okay and I'll minimize that and here we go, we got desktop, there's the desktop, there's the desktop, we got downloads, downloads, documents, so it's not necessarily in order but they are all the directories that are in there so we could use the command tool, uh, the terminal and put in commands and say what are the directories that are in the root directory okay but this is a lot easier we can find we, we'd go oh yeah we got videos music and it's easy to find things so that's what a graphical user interface is okay so I'll just close that and what I have done here is in the main directory here I've created a directory called my Python so double click that and it's got Tekinta so I click that this one called mainframe and there is mainframe program but what I'll do is I'll delete that because I'm going to show you how to create an application well actually I should run it shouldn't I just to show you what it looks like so I won't delete that so here from home I open up a terminal to run it okay reduce that and from Pi onwards I'll just copy that so I'll highlight it copy that and here's my terminal just raise that up so I can see the terminal I go CD which is change directory and I go control shift V to paste uh, where is it yep that's right hit enter now I'm in this folder here and then I go Python 3 now I'm using Python 3 and I'll go main frame.py and I'm asking it to run it so I run that and there it is that is our Win our first application which is a window okay so I'll show you how to do that just minimize that minimize now I'll remove that I just want to delete it yes delete thank you okay so I'll put it up there now there is a program that comes default with Raspberry Pi Raspbian 
I don't know if it's in Ubuntu or any other uh, Linux distributions uh, this is Raspbian so here we are Genie we have a program called Genie and what we're going to do is write a program that runs on Python 3 so what we're going to start with is we're going to put a shebang and what that is 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 a reference to what version of Python we want to run now uh, on uh, Raspbian you have version 2.7 and 3 Python 3 but we want to use Python 3 so the shebang is so we got a hash exclamation mark forward slash user usr then we go bin forward slash python 3 okay and now what we do is we want to import to Kinta and we want to import it as TK now we want to create a class and we'll call that class main app and we'll put a TK frame on that app close with the colon ah now indenting you notice when I press enter it didn't provide an indent so I'll just go back and I will save this save this file and we go in my Python to Kinta mainframe and now we give it the name main frame dot pi okay and I'll save that and yes up the top here it's got the where the uh, main mainframe pi file is located yep mainframe pi up there okay now when I press enter whoops it auto completes now we go define we want to define a function and we go init or initiate and we double underscore on both sides of init and then we go self mask equals none close out with the colon enter again and you notice it's indented over here four spaces four spaces there then four spaces here because there's a colon on the end of these here okay so we have a class and a function and in that function we go tk frame dot init double underscore hit enter for auto complete and we go self master That's okay next line we go self master so we're creating an object called self master which is master and then we go get rid of open we just want master then we go self master dot title so we're going to put a title up the top and I'll call that my application and then we go self self master dot geometry so we're going to give the frame a size we put in quotes 500 yep X which is 500 by 200 pixels okay and then we go down the bottom here whoops go back here we go we go if double underscore name I hit enter to auto complete so it's double underscore on either side of name we go space double equals whoops 
Yep. And within that double quotes, double double quotes, I put double underscore main double underscore and then I'll put a colon on the end which means we'll get an indent okay so this is an if statement if name equals main then root equals tk dot capital tk and then we go app equals main app root as the parent and we go root dot do root dot main we go down a main loop hit enter for auto complete parentheses open and close and that's it and then we'll save it so we've got it here okay and we saved it and if we go into mainframe there it is there we open python here and we've already got the code to run that so i hit the up arrow key so you type in python3 space mainframe dot pi make sure that you've cd'd into your folder doesn't have to necessarily be the same folder or directory as me but make sure that you go into the directory where you've put mainframe pi put in this code python3 please open mainframe.py press enter and there was the window now we've made this 500 pixels wide 200 pixels high now if we move this oh, it's going to disappear that's no good we can make it bigger which it's okay like that we can make it bigger but we lose it when we minimize it too far okay like that it disappears okay so we'll close that and we'll go back to just move that one down there so I can grab it go back to genie and now we go self master faster no master master min size then we give it a minimum size a parentheses open and close parentheses and we go 500 comma 200 so we want to restrict it restrict it size to 500 pixels wide 500 pixels high so we save that we go to our terminal up arrow for the previous command press enter okay there is our application now when we go there we can maximize it okay but if we go back up it doesn't go any further than 500 500 by 200 okay that is our first application I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions or comments in relation to this video please leave them below uh, the YouTube channel and I'll get back to you as soon as possible so until the next tutorial you have a good day and we'll see you soon goodbye